Hey, it's Daffy, and welcome to another Minecraft video. I just want a second here for to unplug my headphones. <coughs> Get the volume up so you can hear the wonderful sounds of Minecraft. That's better. Well, in this little series, um, I am going to show you around my world. Um, uh, hope you like it. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you things out of order. Um, of I, how I built them. Uh, it's just easier that way. Partly because this is where I started, um, my game. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, right now we are in the, I guess, the harvesting room and, well, yeah, of my mob grinder. Now, a lot of people out on the forums, a lot of people out in Minecraft world or the internet, you know, who were purists say, Mob grinders are cheating! Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something. It took me th almost a month to build the mob grinder. And, you know, Minecraft is really about building whatever you want. It's really about doing whatever you want. And there's no rules, so you can stuff it. Second, my mob grinder, it, uh... I made it so it looked nice. Yeah. It's not exactly the best view of it. Uh, everything in my world I might want to mention right now. It's legit. I harvested everything myself. Um, so, so there. I don't use MC Edit. I don't use any of the, the mods. I, I like my vanilla game the way it is. And uh, as a result, I... Uh, I do work very hard to get things right. I might take you inside there on another episode just to show you how it works if you want to learn. Mob grinders are very simple in concept. They just take a long time to build. This is a fairly decent job. Gets me uh, the items I need. Alright, I'm not exactly, like I said, going in any particular pattern, but... Uh, when I first started Minecraft, I wandered around my world for a very long time. And I was unsure of what to do and how to build. So I just kind of wandered around, wandered around, wandered around. And uh, I finally set down roots right around here. And uh, this was one of my first structures I built. And I have since come back to expand on it. Just a regular old dirt house out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I've built up and built up and built up. And then I was mining one day and found a lava and I went back to spawn. This was before beds were made. Anyway, when I came to this spot, I noticed there was this giant valley. So I said, up in this mountain, I said, this demands to have a castle built in it. So today, I'm going to show you this castle. Hopefully I won't take too long. I don't have any video editing software, so... This is going to have to be under 10 minutes, so it'll fit within um, YouTube's upload limit. So, here we go. First things first, I, uh, I want to say that I built this little hut to live in. And this was like my first house. New bed. And uh, uh, when I came back from, from uh, my getting dead, I ended up downloading... Um, Cartograph G. That's the only thing I use to cheat with this game is Cartograph G. It's a good program. If you're going to have a big world, it's worth having, so you should get it. Um, another thing is I play on Peaceful, and I'm going to be playing on Peaceful for this series because I'm showing you my world, and I don't want to be interrupted while I'm doing it. But, as you can see, I do have... I do fight monsters, so I'm not a pussy. Alright. And uh, so here's my first workbench. This is guaranteed to be my very first workbench that I ever built. Very proud of it. In here, this is dirt helmet. So we're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna show you my, my castle that I built. Originally, I was gonna build this for my wife, but she's since shown less than interest in my, uh, my world. You might have noticed I have clouds turned off. You probably saw that in my last video. So, 
Here we go. This is the tour of the castle that I built in Minecraft. Let's see, I have various floors. This this floor might be storage at some point. I've decided this is this is what I call the guard tower because it's like a guard tower. I have a little thing here set up so I don't get rain when I come out. And uh, one of the nice things about my guard tower is that it um, it has one of the best views of my castle in the entire game. Uh, the waterfall is not natural. I put that in there, by the way, but it looks nice. All right, so there's a nice photo of my castle right there. Go inside. Building this bridge was fun. This is before I knew how... I built this bridge before I knew how uh, to do the shift hold thing. Well, actually, I learned about halfway through it, but still. I have a couple of little rooms off to the side. Oh, I fix that. Alright. Uh, this is just a little outlook ledge that I have. <laughs> this this uh, castle has a lot of little secret passages that I built around it. And uh, here's another another little balcony. A nice view of the, the valley. Originally I was going to put like a little town down in this little valley. I've seen some houses and stuff. But I ended up just turning it into a sugar cane farm. May end up building a house houses down there as a village after a while. More secret passages, another balcony. That better be a sheep. Oh, More secret passages. I have a little grotto that I made. I was just trying to like in the hot springs. This was originally going to be like the locker room, but uh, it's not really materialized. Uh, yep, we don't need to wear it. A little bit of a diving board. You can go dive off there. How about it? Another overlook that I built. This is the hall, the bottom floor of the hall, the welcoming area, I guess I call it, the uh, antechamber. This was, this was the most technically advanced thing I'd built um, in Minecraft up to this point. I have since built more technically advanced stuff. Another balcony for you know, addressing my subjects. Don't exist because it's a single bar map. Down here's the kitchen. Or what I would consider the kitchen. I have a little bit of storage. Ooh, bones. More gold. Ah, uh, pistons. Yeah, I wonder where I have to stuff those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Down here. Is sort of a dungeony area that I decided to build. I have this set so that a convict can't escape.